straight out of NASA City. NASA City, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Get ready for Tejano Time Podcast. Houston, Texas, tonight. Giving you the news you can use and bringing you the hottest interviews in the Tejano industry. It's about to go down with your host, Keith Leon. Keith Leon. Houston, Texas. Are you ready? Let's go. Tejano Time Podcast starts now. Please welcome your host, Keith Leon. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen, on this uh, Monday. That's right, Monday evening. Hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic, uh, fantastic evening. That is right, right here on the Hello Time Podcast. Welcome to the show once again, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching right now, uh, sh- share it, stream it. Okay, share the live. Uh, my special guest today, Liz Garcia, la cantante. Uh, who has never been on the show. This is her first time here on the Hello Time Podcast, and we would like to welcome her to the show right now. Liz, welcome to the show, my friend. Hola, gracias. Thank you so much. So, thank you for having me. I'm always happy to talk to you. Thank you. This is my first time on your show. <laughs> yes, very, very first time. She's been very busy of late. I mean, uh, not just over the weekend, but uh, you've, you you had a lot of things going on in Corpus Christi over the weekend, and uh, not, I mean, we're talking about just busy you've been so busy prior to that as well so what what what's up with you what's been going on with liz garcia well liz garcia has been like you said really busy um yesterday i was um doing a tv show domingo live and then we had also the um, sorry i'm in the rancho you're gonna hear all the dogs <laughs> no worries um, so i had an inter- uh, television um tv show and then i had a rolling with Havel interview and then after that, of course, I had a meet and greet with my fans. But yeah, Liz Garcia is like really busy. I'm trying to stay as busy as I can out there. You know, mm. my goal is to um, reach as many people out there as I can. Um, the best thing for me is to have a new audience. You know, somebody that hasn't seen Liz Garcia, heard Liz Garcia. I want to get, I want to get to meet them. You know, have them um, listen to Liz Garcia music. You know, I want all of that. So right, right. That's exactly what I'm doing out there. That's priority. That's on your top top ten right there. Top five, should I say? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and and you have a great following. You have a huge following as well right now as it is currently, and you're and you want more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So as the, that's and then you your supporters that you have, your fans that you have, are great. You know what I mean? Uh, from your postings that we see on social media and whatnot, you know, and your your fans follow you for a reason. You know what I mean? Because you're just straightforward with everything and, and in a professional manner. You know, uh, yeah. you know, you go out there and, and do your thing, uh, whether it be a performance, your music as well. And you have, uh, you know, and again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching the show right now, we're we're talking singer, song, songwriter, the Hano Music Award winner in 2021 for best uh, female artist as well. Uh, Liz got to see us. So she's got a lot of uh, accomplishments throughout her her uh, career how long have you been uh, singing there Liz you know I've been doing this for seven years um I I don't come from music um my my thing starts exactly seven years ago and this is something I've always wanted to do mm-hmm. um I don't come I'm self-taught no music background whatsoever no singing lessons nothing you know everything wow. I've literally done before your eyes here on Facebook if you have been following me since the beginning mm-hmm. um literally um I started, you know, the shower singing, of course, <laughs> like everybody. <laughs> all right. That's so, and then, um, you know, but before all of this, you know, when I was young, um, estaba chiquita, you know, we would sing with my mom outside. And, um, but that was basically it, you know, just at home, my sisters and I, and that's it. No, no music background whatsoever. But this is something that I really wanted to do, like all the time. And I just kept it a secret, you know, because in my family, we, we all like to sing, um, but my I have my sisters, my brother, my mom, my dad. They all have their unique voice, and I felt like I didn't have it. Like I don't fit in here. Yo me callaba, like I was like, I'll just stay quiet because me me como es en México. Like I'll just stay quiet. Pero um, you know, it was something that I've always wanted to do, and I think what made me jump into this was uh, the fact that I would always get sick from my throat, and I would say, you know what, I'm probably never gonna do this but it's something I want to do. I want to try it. I want to, I want to at least try. Mm -hmm. So it comes too often where I'm getting sick a lot and I start checking into it. But at the same time, I didn't want to know if there was something wrong or I wasn't never going to be able to sing. I just kind of jumped into it. Starts Mm -hmm. out with karaoke, get good, get a good response. Then I do Facebook live. Mm -hmm. I got in the hard way. (laughs) 
yeah. <laughs> because not being self, not being being self taught, not knowing anything from music, and I literally have grown before your eyes on Facebook. You know, there was a lot of negativity. Um, uh, yes, I was going to say that there's so many people out there just quick to criticize. You know. Oh yeah. But you're, and but I'm you, not at all. Yeah. And I still do. <laughs> yeah. oh, and yeah. I still and, do. But at this point, I think you know, seven years of it. Yeah, it's like whatever. That's your opinion. Right. You know, there's a lot more people that like what I do than than not. So that's what right. I'm running with. You know, the people that exactly. are on my corner, with my corner, like in my corner. So I'm running with them. You know, not so much the mm -hmm. negativity because at this point. You know, I've won many awards, and that has to say something of that I do. I mean, that I what I'm doing, it's at least okay. <laughs> yes, and 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 the, your following your your fans, they appreciate your music as well. I mean, they're the ones that actually voted for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, that's a big accomplishment there for you. Three albums out as well. Three albums going back to dated in uh, 2018. Uh, your first uh, titled album, Abia Una Vez. Right, and then uh, 2020 was Una Estrella, and your new album, Pisando Fuerte, right now, which is your current album that's out right now as well. So that's uh, amazing. Three albums uh, already in the books. Um, it just doesn't get any better than that. And Liz Garcia, La Cantante, is my guest here tonight, guys, here on uh, the Hollow Time podcast. We're catching up with her and, and seeing what is up with, with um, you know, with all the... Uh, accomplishments she's gotten all her new music that's out as well uh again because you've gotten a, quite a few requests here uh you know from your music dating back from from a couple years ago you know here on houston's the Hano hits your new music is out we have received that as well so uh you know look for that guys out there to uh, tune in as well to our our radio station so you guys can give it a listen as well we're going to play some of the songs here también during the show uh we've got an older video también that we want to share with everybody out there that's watching here uh, on uh, all our platforms out there. So if you guys are out there watching, share the live as well, guys. Okay, um, you know, uh, let's see. We've got somebody here. We got uh, we got we got quite a few people here already tuned in um, that uh, have some messages here. Um, well, your your single um, music collaboration to uh, to be announced by a mainstream coming soon. Okay, so uh, Liz Garcia isn't singing, but definitely helped on the song as well. So uh, soon to be announced. So be on the lookout for that. If you're not following her on her social media platforms, follow her today. Uh, she will give you those handles right now, so that way you can keep up with that as well. So uh, you. you have you have those uh, 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 handles. So we'll we'll get them before the end of the show, Tambien as, as well. But for those of the fans that are the listeners that are or the viewers, should I say, right now that are watching the show, uh, if they want to uh, follow you, uh, where could they go? You know, I'm very active on social media, so my handle on social media is Liz Garcia La Cantante. That's my fan page, verified fan page. Um, I also have Liz Garcia, which are my profiles, one and two. Um, Liz Garcia Music, I love Liz Garcia. You know, I have all of those um, pages on there. I'm, all, I'm, I'm on every social media platform, like um, Instagram, Liz Garcia La Cantante, TikTok, Liz Garcia Music, Snapchat, Liz Garcia Music, Liz Garcia La Cantante. You know, I'm everywhere. On YouTube, Liz Garcia La Cantante Music. Um, the artist name is Les Garcia. Les Garcia La Cantante is more for social media purposes, and that's only for people to find me faster. Because mm -hmm. I would say Les Garcia, and nobody would come my way. Like, well, what happened? I'm like, well, we couldn't find you. That's me. <laughs> so La Cantante will at least stick, and they'll find La Cantante. So eventually they'll find me. So that's what, no what that's why Les Garcia La Cantante is yes. a handle for social media. And you got the you gotta, music is on every platform. Yeah. There you go. So if you're out there watching the show right now, I said, look her up. If you guys uh, don't are not following her, give her a follow. You know, you'll keep up with all the latest and the greatest from Les Garcia La Cantante. All right. So um, Les Garcia Music. That's right. They, that's a Margo put that in there. So salute this to Margo, who's uh, tuned in right now as well. Thank you so much, Margo, uh, for, for, for uh, well, of course, for setting up all this, uh, the interview and all that other great stuff. So she's a hard worker out there as well, Tamien. So uh, yeah. she's doing a lot of things yeah. to, uh, she's one of your, she represents you. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, she does it well. So big shout out to uh to, uh, to Margo. Yes, for sure. So uh, going back to um, songwriting with you, Liz, uh, mm -hmm. how has your songwriting style evolved over the course of the last three albums? I mean, three albums you have out now and your latest one, you know, prior to this two albums that you have out, how does it, how has it evolved? Well, I mean, I didn't know I was a songwriter. So when I first <laughs> heard my first song, I'm like, oh, okay. I Like I'm a storyteller. I, I keep telling, I keep saying that because I like, um, I've, I've always liked love to read and like to tell little stories as far as like English was my main thing in school. So it, it's like, it, it comes easy to me, like um, to write. 
but as far as a song, you know, it's different from just writing regular anything, anything. to a song. Yeah. So um, the the first one, you know, I did. I have a lot of stuff written down, and when I the the thing that changed, I guess, since the, since the beginning till now. Now when I get my songs, they come to me with the melody. You know, now it's a little bit easier for me. I don't know why, how, but that happens. You know, it comes with a hook, it comes with a little melody. But as far as the the, the songwriting, it's getting easier for me. I guess now I've I've learned, you know, from mistakes that I've did in the past, from the first album to now, you know, and I'm still learning, you know, it gets it keeps getting a little bit easier as I go. Um, right. I'm not gonna say that I got it to the T, but you know. I think I've done pretty good so pretty far. Good. Yes. And, yeah. and, and the music that, that you guys will hear in just a few minutes as well uh, says it all, guys. So stay tuned for that as well. That's going to be coming up here in just a few more minutes right here with Liz got to see you on Tejano time. So, um, Liz, uh, how do you balance your, your traditional Tejano um, style sounds with your own unique style? Because I know you got your own unique style. You know what I mean? It's, this is the Liz got to see you, you know, style. Yeah, and it's, know, it's think, different. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I think it has to do a lot with my producer because he is from Mexico. I'm from Mexico. So um, I think that has to do a lot with it. You know, it, I have the Norteño Tejano kind of like a mixed in. Right, right. So because I want to cater to both audiences. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to just stay with one. You know, my my thing with this career is to grow, not to stay. Not to um, stay like I told everybody, yo voy de paso. You know, I'm not, not, I'm not here to stay. Mm -hmm. um, Boy, the paso. I speak a lot of Spanish. Sorry, I'm sure. very Spanish. <laughs> <Not a giant. laughs> so, um, you know, I'm, I start with one thing, and then by the next time, I know I'm somewhere else. You know, so it's something that I'm constantly changing. It's uh, I'm adapting to new. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to grow to see how far I can take it. You know, because this is at the end of the day, this is my way, my style, my everything. Everything that I do is my way. So, me, while I can do that, I'm gonna continue doing that until until I, hasta que ya no se pueda, you know, it's like, it's just, um, how can I say it? <laughs> I guess I'm trying to incorporate both, both worlds, I guess, Mexican and, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, it is very hard to explain, but we're trying to um, give something fresh to the audience. Porque, I mean, if you notice my music, I, and like I said, all kudos to my producer, porque he's the one with, the, of course, uh, musical mind and all of that so of course i have to agree to it too <laughs> i say yes no, i don't like it so Obviously, it has to right. go to like him yeah so him bringing all of this to the plate and then me like you know what i don't like that let's check let's change this or maybe this way or this so i think working together has brought you this fresh style because i i don't think that anybody out there has it's similar to yes. what i have you know it's different right. it is different it is, it is definitely, definitely different, different. Yes, yeah, definitely so, different. It has. I'm sorry, a, I'm confused. Yeah, I don't even know how to explain it. No, no, you're good. You're good. But, but again, like I said before, it's it, it is totally different. You know what I mean? There's a different style. You have a different style. You know, from you know your your, your traditional Tejano, you know, back in the days yeah. or whatnot, or just today's music. But you have it, and it's it sounds a little bit different. But it's good. It's not it's not bad music at all. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, again, people will continue to criticize. That's just how they go. You know, and it's because you're doing something right. You know what I mean? It's not because you're doing something bad. You know, there's a lot of haters out there, and it's 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 gonna mm -hmm. it's gonna happen. It comes with the territory. You know what I mean? So a big good evening to Keith Leal and Liz got to see her from Roxanne Doris who's watching the show as well. Roxanne, thank Hello, you so much. Hello. Thank Norma you. Norma Salazar. Hello. Yes, Norma Salazar is on también, uh, who's tuned in as well. We've got a lot of people tuned in in the group right here. Mr. Joe Leal, bendiciones. Uh, saludos y bendiciones, amiga. Mr. So we got uh, you know quite a few people to share the live guys if you're watching right now as well okay and we're uh, talking to uh, Liz uh, Garcia here on the show and um, very first time here to be honest with you guys on uh, the Hamilton Time podcast and uh, we're happy to have her here to share her story and uh, her music as well with you guys out there our audience. Uh, as well. So if you guys are tuned in, whether it be on YouTube, uh, throughout Facebook, on any of our platforms, uh, share the live guys. And uh, if you have any questions for uh, for Liz, feel free to drop them as well down there and uh, she'll be more than happy to answer those for you. Okay. So um, Liz, uh, can you share a story behind one of your favorite songs from your three albums? I know you have a favorite. Huh, I, know, well, I, you're probably, I know you're probably going to say all of them are your favorite, but I know there's that one special one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, I mean the song, the songwriting. You know, the the 
I have 21 originals on my three albums. Um, it's three albums, 21 originals. It's a total of 30 songs. The rest are going to be covers that I, I select myself. But I mean, I guess out of all my songs, the, the, the most, imp I mean, there's a few that have a special meaning for me because a lot of people think that when I write it, I write it for me. There is probably like two or three songs that I've written for myself. But um, I think out of all of them, you know, what can I say, guys? I'm the singer. I'm the one that performs. I'm, I'm everything. I love my songs. But Me Dejaste is one of the first, one of the main ones that I, I personally like. Me Dejaste is, I don't know, it's just my baby. I, I really love that song. Me Dejaste is more of a, you know, I don't really, it's more of a, you know, it's like, I loved you. You left me. Why did you leave me with my heart in my hand? Now you're coming back. You want to hug me? It's too late, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's what the song is really basically talking about. It's not, it's not so much because it's, um, I guess, because it's uh, it's something, an experience or anything. It's just more of a, I think I feel it. I don't know. It's just, I, I can connect with certain songs. And this one is just one that I literally feel. And when I sing it, I even get goosebumps. I don't know why. But it just becomes, it has become one of my favorites. And it has this. Awesome, awesome. Well, there's a story behind that one right there as well. And that's one of her favorites. Not that like not that none of the other songs that she got out are her favorite songs. Of course, you know, I'm sure she loves to sing them and uh, you know be up there entertaining you guys to them as well on stage. So um, we're talking again with Liz. Got to see you guys share the live. Okay, uh, the Hollow Time Podcast it doesn't get any better than that. All right, and uh, good evening to each and every one of you out there that are tuned into the show. Uh, este, again, uh, we got, uh, uh, let's see here, uh, Nicole Cavazos también. Hi, Liz. I'm Keith. Hi, saludos. Saludos. Saludos to each and every one of you. All right. ¿Quién está aquí? A ver si puedo verlos aquí. So, yes, thank you to all of you who are here. Sabrina, Joe, Lucy, we love you too. Thank you, Mel, Margo, Cristina Guerrero, Billy from Corpus. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I can't see all the, the, the comments, okay, but I saw a few. Thank you. Thank you. You, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for commenting and for stopping by. Yes, for sure, for sure. Thank you guys for tuning in to the show here. Um, let's see. Uh, saludos uh, from Beatriz y Destino. That's right, saludos. Beatriz. And Papi Chulos también as well. So. El Papi Chulos yeah. también. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, a qu uh, we have a question from Roxanne Ruiz who wants to know right quick here. Who are your music idols? Mira, yo soy mexicana, so my home in music, and I, I know everybody's going to want to expect for me to say algo de tejano. My home in music is Pop Internacional. So if you listen to my covers, the ones I personally select that I, I do my style, the songs that are not mine on my albums, those come from the Pop, pop Internacional. So that's mm -hmm. international music in Spanish. So my, the person that I, that I really love how she sings and I would love to meet her one day and she's my idol in music, Laura Pausini. And I can't say that enough. So if you guys don't know who she is, she's um, from Spain. So Laura Pausini, she sings in Spanish, you know, Pop Internacional. She sings in, in various different languages. That mm -hmm. woman can sing. Yeah. So she's like the inspiration. También para mí, because she started, I mean, she didn't start as late as I did in her music, but she did. You know, she didn't start when she was a little girl tampoco. And she's doing amazing. She's like one of the icons right now out there. So, but of course, también, other than her, acá en el genre de nosotros, pues, of course, we have to say Selena, porque pues, Selena también, she plays a big part in everybody's uh, music career. Um, y también para mí la Villarreal, la güera, Alicia Villarreal. Alicia. So, those nice. are the ones. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. Those are her idols right there, guys, if you're watching the show. And uh, Roxanne and uh, Ruiz says, okay, you know, I love her music. <laughs> so. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Roxanne, for thank watching you, Roxanne. the show. And uh, at the Hano Legends and Pioneer Chapter 14, Albuquerque, New Mexico is tuned in as well. Thank you. So Thank we've got you. quite a few people that are tuned in right now as well. So as the, again, you know, para Norma Salazar también, who's watching, uh, she's uh, tuned in. Yes. Thank you, Norma. Thank you so much for always stopping by and joining us on the, on the interviews. Always, and always Norma, great time. She's uh, awesome. <laughs> yes. She's she's awesome. She's supporting everyone. Thank you, Norma. For sure, she definitely is. So tell me a little bit about the um, the two uh, songs that we have, I have right now that I want to play here for, for you guys out there. Uh, Sabrina Lugo también, she says here, uh, shared the live. Thank you so much, Sabrina. We appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank Luis you, Billy. Yep. Viéndolos desde Monterrey, Mr. Luis A.G. Saludos, Luis. Saludos. 
awesome guy right there awesome music as well uh some of the new new tunes that i have here uh right now liz i've got a couple of songs here that conf- was it uh te confieso and uh, la mejor versión de mi okay uh, a couple of songs that we want to play for 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 everybody out there that's tuned into the show. Uh, these these are some of the new tracks, correct? Yes. yes. So uh, it's from the new album, from album three. Um, Te confieso, Te confieso is an, an original song by Les Garcia. La mejor versión de mí is a cover, Les Garcia style. Um, mm-hmm. But Te confieso is um, original, and it's también basically speaking about you know I you I couldn't believe you left me, and you know should I wait for you? Should I continue with my life and I'm you know I'm gonna be honest it did hurt when you left you know almost all my music is like that but you know what I'm focusing on the selling <laughs> <laughs> I more just a more que nada Chinela. there's either love or you don't love me and that's yeah, I think that's yeah. what's gonna sell <laughs> <laughs> well you're you're right about that yes <clears throat> there's, well, definitely, I can't have you. <laughs> <clears throat> there's there's definitely uh uh you know I was like I've had many artists on the show uh there was a moment there recently uh, that there was nothing but breakup songs every which way that were were, were huge you know for a yeah. lot of artists out there and it was just that era you know I don't I mean it's still going on as a matter of fact you know here and there so yeah I mean, definitely something that's, I've been a fan before an artist you know so mm-hmm. I all my life I listen to music and I think that's really what catches most of the attention, porque si sí, hay gente alegre que le gusta la música, que le gusta la cumbia, le gusta todo lo movido, mm-hmm. pero I think out of 100%, you know, only probably like at least 30% does that. I think mm-hmm. the other is the, the ranchera, pero I think 50% of it is going to be more of the, I can't have you, why did you leave me, estoy llorando por ti, te estoy esperando, you know, stuff like that. That's what's right, going to yeah, come. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what's been selling. Yeah. So, you know, you got to kind of look at the, the pie chart and, and see where you want to aim and, you know, the way I am, I'm a the lovey dovey, so that's my style of music. That's what I like, so that's what I sing. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, let's go <laughs> with um, well, what is it? Uh, what do we got here? Uh, let's see, let's just jump into a quick song right here. That everybody that's tuned in out there right now, check this one out. That conf- uh, that confieso, okay, this is uh, the current uh, well, one of her newest songs right now off the album, which is uh, Pisando. Fuerte. That's off her latest mm-hmm. album right there. Okay. So we'll be right back here with some more Liz Garcia here just uh, in a few moments ago. So stick around, guys. Stay close right here at the Hollow Time Podcast and don't forget to share the live. <laughs> Ya no me dolías, sigue con tu camino. 
Te confieso, right there. That's the, one of the latest uh, singles or latest songs, should I say, off her uh, brand new CD or album. Uh, it's out and it's out and available on all digital platforms right there. Liz Garcia, La Cantante, ladies and gentlemen. So that's uh, one of the songs there. You can uh, go out and grab and add to your playlist as well as many of your other favorites she's got in the past as well. So let me get some shout outs out of the way right quick that are watching there is in our group here. Joe Fonseca, uh, Miguelito Romero. That's right, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, let's see, we got also este Billy Jimmy Reynolds, también. Uh, Lucy Benavides, saludos. También also para Randy Naborete, también is watching the show. Nah, Randy, good, good good to have you on, my brother. Thank you so much for watching the show as well. So everybody that's tuned in right now uh, watching the Hello Time podcast, share the live, guys, all right? And uh, uh, say hello to Liz while you guys are out there as well, uh, tuned in right now. So that's a, that's a great thing. So, uh, you know, give her Bob Gassinella right there. It says right here. Saludos, Liz and Keith, watching on our YouTube channel as well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Very catchy tune, he says. Very catchy tune. So, <laughs> you. Again, you have your own unique style and your, your, your sound. It's just, uh, it's, it's different. You know what I mean? And um, uh, it says, I see you. I see you have, are you doing a lot? Congratulations, Liz. Right? Thank you. Hilda Lama, saludos. Yes. También para Hilda. Yes, watching the show. Big shout out to all you guys out there. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in right now. So how do you stay connected with your fan base and, and, and what kind of feedback have you received from your music uh, with, with fans? And you got a big, huge following like we announced earlier in the big uh, part of the show at the beginning. Uh, you have a huge following. So, I mean, how, how does that uh, work for you? You know, uh, there is two types of um, you know, fans that I have. My fan base, is it is... It is um is I would I wish it was a hundred percent for music. <laughs> <laughs> um but you know, but for the most part, you know, I get a lot of um awesome feedback from them. You know, the the good thing is is that my uh, uh my reports are telling me that people are listening even though I'm not able to see it, you know, I do get mm -hmm. those reports from my streaming platforms. So my music is out there, you know, and th that's a really good thing, even though I don't get it directly from the fan. I know that it's it's doing good because I am getting those I'm getting good response in my in my reports, you know, every month or every quarter, I want to say. So it is working out. Um, I do like to get the the feedback from the positive people because, you know, those are the only ones that are going to be tactful and telling you, well, you know what? I don't like it. Or, you know what? I, I don't I'm not going to go to somebody that's already being negative and say, what do you think about my music? Porque, pues, si no, como le digo, Javo, me quieren dar con todo el libro. And, and that's I'm not here for that. I'm not here for the library. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I <have> my own. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I try to just go in um, and, and get it from the people that I know that are going to be um, legitimate in their with their answers and, you know, and use the tactfulness that I'm looking for, because I mean, as far as negativity that everybody can do that. Mm -hmm. So, but like I said, I am getting good response and not so much, um, not direct, not so much directly from the fan base, but from, from the, from my reports and music. Mm -hmm. Pero as far as my fan base, you know, I do have a huge following on all pages and, and I do appreciate it. Um, so I do get a lot of good response on, on social media as well from them. So to me, it really does mean a lot when they stop by and comment, you know, what well, we love the song or great job or, you know, just keep me going. You know, they're my greatest motivators yeah. in the music journey. So I really, I love that. Yes. And, and yeah, like I said, they're, they're, they support you 110%, you, the positive, the positive ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, so the, the negative ones can just stay right where they're at, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're so sad. They're just confused. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, no, there's something wrong with them. And they're, they're confused. There's yeah. <laughs> definitely something wrong with them. Yeah. They, so. they know they love me, but they, you know. <laughs> They're they're in come on come on and they're at uh, in denial. <laughs> <laughs> so well said there, as the Sabrina Lugo says right there. So yeah, she's she's on top of her game as well, watching the show. So big uh, big shout out going out to um uh to amigo Pete también who's watching the show. Thank you so much, to amigo Pete. Gracias, we appreciate you. That's right, and um, got another uh, user right here that's in the watching us in the group. Hello, Keith Lund, Liz Garcia. Happy Monday. Love your music. Outstanding. So big shout out to you guys that are watching again. Bobby Moya también, also Grupo Básicos, tuned in. Este LJ Gonzalez, saludos. Thank you so much, my brother, for watching the show tonight. Uh, Elsa Hernández también is watching the show. Graviela, Esmeralda Ponce. Uh, we've got people from all over the place. So, you know, uh, pa, puro para adelante, dice Liz, for Miguelito Romero is watching the show. So keep going. Yeah. 
just go for yeah, it. Yeah, and I'm reading, I'm reading a comment from Beatrice. Yeah, I know, negative is part, it's part of the territory. I know it comes with it. That all, you know, I guess from somebody that's been taking it like on the daily for seven years, you know, it's like, eh, not interested. Yeah. But I know it comes with the territory. There's nothing I can do. There's no nothing anybody can do. Right. But I mean, on my part, just not pay attention to it. Exactly. So that's just, just what I do. yeah, just let it go. Let, let, <laughs> just let it go with the wind, huh? Yes. <laughs> so we Thank we have a, an older song. We have an older video, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, I'm not sure when this one was uh, was out and released, but we do have it. Es mejor decir adiós. Again, talking about songs like that, you know. <laughs> that was going my back first song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. And, and, and you're probably your first video as well, correct? Yes, Maybe? yes. Yeah. Awesome. Video. Definitely well, that was want the first time that. that I gave you with. Yes. Um, es mejor decir adiós. Actually, I I wrote that song and it was my very first one. That was the only song that I was going to come uh, into the music with. And that was it. Um, mm -hmm. it's the, I don't know. It's it's something that happened at the store. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, it was a little, it was funny how it happened because it was like, they were arguing and then they see somebody come around the, the aisle and they pretend like nothing's happening. So it's like, you know, it's mejor decir adiós. It's like you're pretending in front of everybody. And then behind closed doors, you're arguing and arguing. So I kind of wanted to relate that onto the video también. So, I mean, I think I, I portrayed the, what the lyrics were saying on the video. So, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that was my very first original song. And that was all I was here for, guys. But then once I... I I sent it out and people started listening to it. They wanted more. And that's three albums later. I'm still here. Still here. Definitely. And many awards as well. And, and writing, writing material. I mean, it just, I mean, it's, it's pretty much all happening for you right now. And, you, you know, you got a great team behind you as well. So, you know, it is, it's, it's, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> well, it's, it's gotta be Margo Spino. That's it. That's the team. Yes. <laughs> yes. But I mean, it's huge. Margo is a, plays a huge part, you know, uh, yeah, she's she great people does. as well. So, uh, yeah. so, so let's play the song. Let's play the video so that way everybody can uh, check out this video. Again, going back to this is uh, her very first video and her very first song that was released. All right. And what, what year was that? That was back in 2017. That was the, the my very first song. Awesome. There we go, guys. So check this out and uh, let us know what you think as well. All right. Right here on the Holland Time Podcast.
That is the video right there. One of our very first videos and very so, uh, first uh, uh, releases as well right there uh, to hit the uh, airwaves uh, right there. So congratulations to you on that going way back. And still, a lot of people still love it. Um, again, um, Miguelito Romero says, I must confess, this is my first time, uh, you know, he listens to Liz and I'm definitely a fan now. So shout ah, out to that. Good. Yes. You so, know, there's more comments that you're able to see and I can't see them over here. So I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm ignoring you guys. I just can't see them over here. I'm looking at them at the, on the screen, but not over here. Yeah, there's and there's, <laughs> there's a lot that are coming through. So uh, if we don't get around to getting uh, your comment in there, uh, just uh, don't get upset. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> don't hate. It's going to be all right, <laughs> thank guys. You. Thank you so yes. much for being here. For sure, for sure. There's uh, so many people out there that are tuned in. David Vela también is tuned into the show. It's uh, Mr. Hector uh, Ruiz is watching as well. Thank you guys so much. Um, Roel Martinez también is watching the show. Uh, Roel Martinez music. So big shout out to Roel. I got him coming up very, very soon right here on the Time as well. So all kinds of great people out there watching the show tonight. Uh, going back to um, to uh, Liz Garcia now, guys, here on the Hello Time podcast. Uh, what do you consider your your um, your highlight of your career so far and... and uh, what are your goals for the future? You know, my goals is my goal is to grow. You know, continue growing to see how far I can go with all this. You know, um, there is I'm more of um, every day. You know, I have different ideas. Um, what seems to be good today might not work tomorrow. Right. So I'm um, trial and error. I'm literally this is like a trial and error thing for me. You know, it's like you try something out, it doesn't work out. You try something new. Um, you know, um, gracias a Dios, I do have a lot of ideas and how to go about doing things. Um, but m my main thing is to grow. Um, as far as the, the future plans, you know, I will continue to make music. I don't know. Um, you know, there's so many things that I want to do, but a lot of things I keep to myself because, um, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to put it out there and then they don't happen. But um, they're definitely something that I'm working towards. You know, I'm hopefully looking into another music video. I don't know how soon that's going to be. I am independent, um, self-funded. So it is going to take me a little bit before I can do that. But, you know, there is one in the in the works, you know, something nice. that I'm looking into, um, a fourth album. You know, um, I'm not even going to rush myself because I always do this to myself. You know, these three albums, I make a deadline for me. I give myself a year. And for somebody that's in the music and is able to do a CD or album, whatever you want to call it, every... Mm -hmm month every three months or whatever not in my case i'm still funded you know i gotta do this on my own so it does take me i i even at, at one year it's still i still put a lot of pressure on myself because it's not only i don't you know i don't come from money you know i i don't have the the job like i used to um i do this with the music um you know i am working 
and I'm working, I'm getting paid in the music. Tambien I do have a side job once in a while and then I do a little hustle on the side, which is baking. So when I set myself for these goals or these these dates, I do dates that I put I put for myself, you know, I put myself under a lot of stress. So I'm not even gonna mention when I'm gonna release my fourth one. I mean, it could be next year, I don't know, but I'm not gonna rush through it. You know, I'm just gonna take my time. Take your time, That's definitely. What I'm looking into. But as far as um, music is concerned, you know, duets are something that I'm looking into with different genres. Um, awesome. I do. Um, I have done already one with um, Alex Rojo. That's like really, really Tejano. Oh, open up your heart. I don't know if you guys have heard it already, but that's his song. Of course, I was just invited to be part of it. It's already a year old, that song. It did pretty good. Um, it was recorded with Rick Ventus. Um, okay. So I was part of that. And then, of course, I translated songs for freestyle artist Stephanie Bennett. You know, this is my second one that I do for her. And the, she's sounding really awesome out there. She's singing in Spanish, um, and I'm the one doing the translation for her. And I'm, I've been I've been the one helping her with the, you know, the singing and all of that stuff. So it's, I think it's something Great. pretty cool. Of course, opening for all of these other artists. But, you know, the thing is just to keep moving, to continue growing, and see how far, or how many more people I can, I can, reach with my music. You know, um, to me, it's I don't see myself um, staying in one spot. You know, I wanna. Mm -hmm. I want to continue. It's, it's continue. I guess the main thing in my career is just growth, growth. And right. Where, yeah. Where I can go. Definitely, growth is, uh, is is on your your top list as well. There. Uh, again, uh, if you guys, if you're you're watching the show right now, or reviewing the show, uh, share the live, guys. Liz Garcia is my guest, and Mister Tu Amigo Pete. Uh, Pete wants to know to he wants to know about the people that were in the video. Tell us about the people in the video. <laughs> Well, um, the, the 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 main actor, he's a model from Laredo, Texas, <laughs> Fernando. Um, he's actually he he had been um, he's come out of movies already, so he knew what he was doing. I was I'm I'm a first <laughs> at acting, so he did really good. As far as everybody else in the in the table, you know, those were fans. Um, you know, I did ask um my fan base whoever wanted to be in the video, and you know they responded, and everybody that was in there was fans. So I'm yeah. happy that they were good too. To do it participate, and participate yeah yeah and so basically that's mainly where you see the people because everything else is just me and him but um that's it was fan base you know the one the ones in, in the video y también, pues, i do have another music video it's titled i have yet the song is titled i have yet and it's an original también you know i did put out a, a notice out there and then of course the girls that are in there and the the model javier the grandma you know everybody that that reached out you know that reached out um, from the from the fan base so mm -hmm. yeah good deal that's awesome that's amazing to get the fans in there <laughs> yes you never know it might, they might be that might be in the works for a new one you know <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> it's, look out for that now uh p just says again you know you have one of the biggest awards in Tejano music you're definitely on the right track so yeah, yeah it's a definitely. Musical. um so yeah it's, uh, i am the winner for those who don't know for 2021 best new female artist and of course it, of course that's owed to all my fan base you know they, they were the ones that voted for this garcia um so i do have that award in my possession so i want to say thank you to everybody who made that possible not only the fan base but i mean the industry itself but also the fan base mm -hmm. who played a big huge part in the decision on that yes definitely all her great following that she has is there lorena mejia says hello keith and liz saludos lorena i met oh. lorena twice already yes yes awesome, another amazing awesome. artist right there yes yeah. Great music, también, as well. So, uh, be on the lookout for that, guys. Again, you know, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, you know, thank you enough for being on the show tonight with us here to, to just talk a little bit about, you know, Liz Garcia. Do you have any upcoming performances, uh, you know, in and around the area? Anything in San Antonio? Fanfare, maybe? Or is there anything you're going to be doing in San Antonio the upcoming weekend? Yes, actually, I do. Uh, my calendar is getting, it's getting pretty booked. So I do have, um, of course, I'm going to be at the Radio Gala for those of you that are out going to be there i will see you this thursday uh, here in san antonio the radio gala is where all the radio stations are and we go and we mm -hmm. get interviews with them so it's mainly mainly industry people right that's really what i've seen for the yeah, radio pretty gala. much yes i've i, really I have really never been there yet i've been invited mm -hmm. i have been invited uh several times and uh it's just like uh, you know uh, like I, i'm committed to another event that we have there which starts thursday as well evening so it's like yeah and it just it's mm -hmm. tough 
to try to, to juggle a lot that's going to be happening. You know, I can't yeah. be everywhere. But uh, yes, you have yet to, to be there. But I heard it's yes, it's very much so. There's a lot of uh, uh, I'm not sure if there's any any other uh, if the uh, fans or anybody are, are that are invited. I haven't, like I said, I've never experienced it yet. Pretty much radio stations that yeah. are going to be there and artists and, and uh, yeah. TV and, so and stuff like that. So I'm going to be there Thursday and then on Friday I'll be at the at the uh, TMA at the Hanna Music Awards Fanfare at the Hemisphere Plaza. That's going to be at 325 at the Magic Theater. Uh, stage mm -hmm. on Friday, the March the 15th. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be again there at the Hemisphere Plaza at the Hanna Music Awards Fanfare. And I'm going to be at the, I'm going to have a meet and greet at one o'clock till 2.30. Awesome. And then after that, it's going to be, um, I'm going to be performing again at the Mexican stage at 3.25 again. Uh, since I don't have a band, those of you that still don't know, I, I still don't have a band. I still do things my way, my solo performer. I only have 10 minutes in each set. So if you guys are out there, um, you guys can go and um, join me for those 10 minutes if you're out there. So don't blink because you'll miss me. <laughs> <laughs> but 10 minutes is all I need for you guys. So, and for new people to listen to Liz Garcia to hear me. So that's all I need. It doesn't matter. There you go. 10 minutes each day. But uh, um, yeah. if you definitely want to take a picture by Liz Garcia merch, I'll be there at one o'clock. Um, it's going to be there across the stage, I believe, from the either the Mexican stage or the Magic Theater. I'm not too sure since it's a new area for everyone at the mm -hmm. Town of Music World Fan Fair. Um, the meet and greet will be at one o'clock. So I hope to see you guys there. I'll be there for an hour and a half. There you go. Again, those times, the Hano Fanfare on Friday, 325 at the uh, Magic Theater stage, uh, the Hano Fanfare meet and greet uh, from, uh, that's uh, what, 1, 30, 1 to, to 2.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then also on the, the Hano Fanfare uh, Mexican stage at 325, which is on Saturday, correct? Yes. And um, I'm also going to be in at the San Antonio Roasted Corn Festival on the 24th of March. That's a Sunday. I perform at 11 o'clock here in San Antonio. It's free. All you have to pay is for parking. So there, I know there's going to be more artists out there. This is an event I keep uh, I keep uh, participating every year, thanks to Luchisto um, Solotes for inviting Liz Garcia again. Um, también I'm going to be back to Poti, Texas in April 14th, the last day of the Strawberry Festival. Not at the grounds, but at the Backyard Kitchen. I'm going to be out there again performing um, the 14th of April. Um, it's a restaurant that I've been to back in February the 10th. Um, so everybody in Poti, the last day of the Strawberry Festival, at the Backyard Kitchen, I'll be out there performing with several artists, including my friend Cuban Viva. So, and I have many more events. I have one big event. I'm going to be opening for a mainstream artist on, in June, but I can't really talk about that yet until I get the the, the green light to do so. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely right there. 324, the uh, San Antonio Roasted Corn Festival. Okay, guys, don't mm -hmm. forget about that. And uh, Margo also posted it's going to be between both areas there at Fanfare. So be, I guess between both uh, stages or whatnot, that there's going to have an area there for the meet and greet. So. Okay. Uh, be on the lookout for her as well okay so liz got to say we'll be out there uh this coming weekend guys all right that's the, the week is finally here you know what i mean everybody's preparing to make the trip down to san antonio there's going to be all kinds of great things not just fanfare there's all kinds of stuff that's going to be happening the city's yeah. going to be jumping okay so as they you get bored of being at fanfare you go somewhere else uh, you know everybody's just going to be every which way there's no doubt about it you know mm -hmm. so as they make plans to get out there and uh, have some fun it's going to be an entire week from thursday all the way to sunday all kinds of things that are happening um um, she says, not yet, but almost time to announce the headliner for the June festival. So, but not yet. <laughs> no green light yet. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Margo. Thank you for all that, that info. We appreciate you so much. Definitely. All right, guys. So, uh, any advice would you have for the emergence uh, for emerging, um, you know, songwriters, singers that are just coming into the scene or anything like that? Again, you just, like you said, you walked in, um, to it just 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 to try it out to see what happened you know what's going to happen with with it you know how far it's going to go and uh, you're doing very well three albums later the hollow music award you know best female artist i mean uh any advice that you could want to share with some of the youngsters out there some of the people that are actually trying to get into the to the business and and, and the singing and songwriting well something like that i wanted to say i mean i said it yesterday in my interview but i wanted to put it out there that um you know it, it's something that you really need to make sure that's something that you want and something that you can, that you feel like you're ready for, because this, this is a very, um, it's not an easy thing to do. You have to have the time for it. It's a 24 seven thing. You have to be very, very consistent, very persistent. You have to be disciplined about what you're doing. You have to be serious about what you're doing. Um, to the younger uh, girls, like I was saying yesterday, I mean, 
after listening to myself saying it, you know, it, it's not a discouragement, um, even though some people might take it like that, but it's, I wanna say, because I do know um, younger artists that are wanting to do it or they're, or the parents have them doing it, but most of the time it's the parents' dream, it's not the kids' dream. Mm -hmm. right. So I wanna say to, to everybody out there that wants to do this, that is, that is positive that they wanna do it. I mean, if you wanna try it out, by all means try it. You're gonna see for yourself what I'm saying. But if you feel like this is going to be something you want as a career, you know, just keep in mind, guys, if you are young, I mean, I am pretty young, 21. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like all the younger generation, you know, it's like it's something that like these these kids still have to grow up. You know, they still have to go through life. They still have to go through, um, you know, the I mean, whoever gets married anymore. So if they're going to get married or they're going to fall in love, you know, they're going to do the school thing. They're going to do life, you know, the kids, you know, all of that. All of that takes a lot of focus away from what you're mm -hmm. doing. And if this, if this is something that you really want to do, just be prepared that that this is going to be part of your life, an everyday life, you know. And you just have to um, be sure that what, this is what you want. Um, it requires a lot of your time, a lot of focus. Um, in my case, you know, it's very, it's not easy. I've gotten mm -hmm. used to it. Um, you know, sometimes I'm still. I can't tell you that it that oh I, I can do this with my hand in my waist because it's not you know every day every time brings a different thing um, you know a different um, obstacle so I, I guess what I want to say is if if you don't feel like you're ready for this don't do it yet I mean the, it's in God's timing it will come to you once it's supposed to be your turn um, I know there's a lot of people that believe that only the the younger kids can do this and mm -hmm. it's that's not the truth guys i started seven years ago and i'm doing it you know yeah i'm not the carol g of the of the world right now but you know i've gotten a taste of what it's like even though it's just um it's not as big as that but i i can tell you that it does require a lot from your part you know it's something that's going to become part of your life and it's something that you're not going to be able to um let go unless you're just ready to let it go because in my case i can't sit here and say oh, i'm not going to do it today I'm not going to do it for a week. I'm not going to do it for a month. Why? Because I'm going to lose a lot of the traction that I already gained and, exactly. and everything mm -hmm. that I've been fighting for. So, I mean, the, the el consejo is if you feel like that you're ready for this and you want to be doing this, then by all means, go for it. Means go for but it. if you feel like you're not ready, just keep in mind the negativity, negativity comes in hand in hand and it does do, it does work a number on you. And I think on everybody especially women because it till this day you know i think that's one of the things that um i think women get it uh, it's it's hard it's going to be harder for women than it is for guys because there is that that buddy thing with the guys like oh i got you man and it's not and with the woman is like Ay, se cree mucho la vieja. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's, there's still that and you know out there and or the, that uh machismo i don't know there's, there's still something out there that it, it kind of like brings us Get kind of gets a little stuck, so you gotta be ready to be continue to fight and go against the grain and all of that. So I don't want to discourage you by not by telling you don't do it yet. You know, be just I just want to let you know that you have to be ready. Have the mentality that this is not gonna. If you want this to to work out for you, you have to keep working. You have to be very persistent. You have to kind of like brush it off, even though it hurts. You have yeah. to be ready to make this part of your life because it's not something that you're just gonna can put aside. And that's it. You know, it has that's to continue. It. You have to continue going if this is if you're serious about what you want to do. Mm, yeah, so so yeah, that's my good info. That. Good info right there, guys. <laughs> so going, you know, on the same on the same note right there, Liz, being a female artist, you know, in in the industry, uh, you know, I'm sure you've you've uh, came up to some different. I mean, so much so challenges, should I say, in the in the, in the industry? Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of challenges to, have you uh, come across and have overcome? you know, since day one when you started as a female artist? Well, in my case, it's more of the way I do things, you know, um, because again, and I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, I have a band. I don't have a band, guys. Mm -hmm. Everybody that knows about Les Garcia, you guys know, know that I'm a solo artist, performer. I don't have a band behind me. I do have my music. It's music that musicians do for me, you know, it's done in a studio and everything. I pay for all of that. You know, I invest just exactly like any artist out there. I, I work as hard. I invest just as as much. Um, I do the traveling. I do the the practicing. I do the investment. Everything. I do everything. Um, and but the thing is, is that I don't have the band, and it's the respect. You know, when 
I get to a stage and no, I'm not going to say everybody out there because there is a lot of awesome, awesome people out there that, that are really, really cool down to earth and they're willing to help me out. And, you know, they facilitate stuff for me, but there's a lot, there's a, a little handful out there that don't, they just don't, you know, it's like, there's no respect. Like, well, get on there or what, who's going to do this for you? you? You don't worry about it. I do it myself, you know? So stuff like that, it, it, it's, it's more of the, the I guess the respect, um, I don't know why it makes a difference that I don't have a band. You know, um, I approach people in the friendliest manner, you know, with the utmost respect, you know, and there's still a lot of people out there that that right. still don't want to give that respect. So that's mainly that it has been my problem. And as far as, um, oh, just, just a track singer. I'm, I'm gonna say it here and I'm gonna say it again. I keep saying it, you know, I don't care what you wanna call me. I am an artist, I'm a singer songwriter. Um, I'm just like everybody out there, you know, I, like I said, I, I do the, the work, I put in the work, I, I do, I put in the money, everything, I do everything. The only difference between those of you that have a band and me is that I don't have anybody in this, on stage with me, it's just me, I'm the show, I'm the performer, I'm the one singing, that's the only difference. And I don't know if that's what gives them the, the right to disrespect, I don't know, but that is the main challenge for me. Because, um, I mean, other than that, you know, of course, tambien is like when I'm hired, like, oh, well, she's just one. How much is she going to get paid? <laughs> you know, that's none of your yeah. business. Yeah. I don't know how much you're getting paid. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's stuff like that, the disrespect. I guess that's the main problem with me. It's not so much where um, anything else, porque I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't put myself out there. I'm not out there trying to stay relevant in the crowd um or attending parties or being like that i mean i don't i have so much work to do you know there's there's not um i can't really go and do that you know there's a lot of people that say well i'm gonna go to this event or i'm gonna go to that event or i'm gonna go to this one you know i, I can't not a, that's not doable for me for me it's more of a if you want me at an event i need to be there to perform <laughs> because other than that i'm not gonna just go um i mean i'm a homebody but i'm pesar you know i keep to myself and I'm all about work, you know, if I'm here at home, I'm practicing and I'm thinking of new ways to improve my business. But mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's really what it comes down to that I kind of stay away from the public eye, from the industry. Um, not because que me crea mucho lo que quieras, pero es como te digo, I'd rather avoid a lot of that. And um, just, um, I want people to know who I am when I actually do show up and that they actually do talk to me, not because we're at a club um, getting to know each other. You know, I don't, I don't yeah. want that level. I, I don't want it to get to a point where it's very, it's more disrespectful than it already is. So. Yeah, I get you. Definitely. Yeah. So, and, and Margo had a lot to say to speak on that as well. Uh, you know, uh, she said, you know, finding band members is a challenge and right now it is in the industry. There's no doubt about that. And there's plenty of bands that can, that can honestly say that, uh, it's, it's tough right now. Uh, so she, she, uh, does have a live uh, studio, live in studio band, but not a live band behind her yet. All right. So, uh, mm -hmm. she says uh, she's still interviewing, uh, you know, band members and plenty of, uh, I have plenty of work that pays, so contact Liz Garcia or myself for more information. So there's no doubt about that. Yeah, and like yeah. she says here, check this out. She said tracks are on the railroads, and uh, <laughs> you <laughs> and you aren't a karaoke singer. You write your own songs. Big difference. Yeah. It is a huge difference right there. There's no doubt about that. So mm -hmm. yes, and um, Marvy, uh, he said he performed with, I believe, with you back in the days here. Lots of hard work yeah. for sure. I had the opportunity to. Uh, uh, meet Liz Garcia, like I think they especially shared the stage as well. Yes, Amazing. and he's not, he's also posting on here, so it's the same. In a banda, there's about 30 people on the stage, but they only see the singers. So I don't see a problem if you are a one-person show. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, I mean, no, no entiendo porque, mira, la, para mí, if the, the ones that are there paying or the audience is not complaining, porque, why do they have a say-so, you know? Let the audience... Um, you know, mm -hmm. gracias a Dios, and and you know, every every time I go to a show, I'm like, God help me with this one. You know, I, it's new people, it's a new audience, it's a new. You know, I need to, you know, I'm gonna do my thing. Que sea lo que tú quieras. And como te digo, the, the people do enjoy it. People get up and dance. You know, um, they come up to me and they give me kudos. You know, you're like you're doing awesome. We've never seen anybody do it like that. You know, it's the first time listening to you, but you're doing awesome. We love your music. Mm -hmm. We love your voice. You're talented. Da, da, da. You know, they give me really good feedback. And I mean, that's what should matter. 
not um, what people behind the, the, the music think, you know, I think the fan is the one that decides whether they like or not, you know, um, like I said, there is a lot of people that, that don't like what I do and how I do things because they feel like I've cheated. <laughs> I don't see how, but yeah, okay. Right, right. Um, but you know, that's their opinion and everybody has it and, you know, and, and I'm not going to be able to change their mind, but I am going, going to keep the people that do support what I do and the way I do things. You know, I'm not saying that I'm never going to get a band because I have been trying, you know, I just want people that want to work and people mm -hmm. that are committed. And it's very hard nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I want to have that chemistry with the band that, you know, they're going to respect me and I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have, they're going to have my back, you know, just the way I want them, the way I'm going to have their back, you know, as far as giving them work. So um, I'm a cool boss, guys. <laughs> I don't know why you don't want to work with me. <laughs> so, um I've been looking, but I mean, it's not, it hasn't stopped me from being out there, staying relevant, um, performing and getting hired, you know, it hasn't stopped me. Como te digo, la gente es la que decide, and gracias a Dios, la gente hasta ahorita le gusta lo que hago. They love what I do, and they let me know about that. And um, so I don't think it's fair that there's a lot of people that um, hate on me for, for what I'm doing. And um, because like I said, I do everything exactly that you guys do. The only difference is that I don't have those guys behind me on stage. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Me. So, I mean, pero bueno, cada cabeza un mundo. I cannot change the world. I cannot change anybody's opinion. Once somebody um, thinks one way about you, you know, there's no way, there's nothing you can do to change their mind. They're going to have to change their mind on their own. They're the ones that are going to decide, decide, but I'm not going to sit there and try to make them change their mind about me. So, true. Very true. Cool. yeah. Yeah. So, well, keep doing okay. what you're doing. You have some great music there. There's no doubt about that. And, uh, you know, uh, just keep reaching for the stars, Liz. There's, don't let anything bring you down. Mm -hmm. You know, just keep going with the flow and uh, all that negativity. Just put it behind you and just keep going for it. Again, it comes with, with the territory. Uh, oh, DJ yeah. Smoke, by the way, says he'll be a backup dancer for Liz if you guys want to hire him. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. You know that. <laughs> He's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. He's yeah, crazy. He's awesome. He's awesome. 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 Yes, we'll be seeing him this weekend there in San Antonio as well. So uh, yes. I know he's pretty busy, so I don't know. Yes, he, oh, he's always he's a busy man out there. Yes, definitely, yeah. man. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, so uh, again, Liz, I, I couldn't thank you enough for being on the show. Thank you so much yeah, for yeah, here on the Hello Time podcast. Um, definitely want to keep you uh, in the loop and, uh, you know, with upcoming uh, future um Music that gets it, it gets released and stuff like that. You guys can always tune into Houston's to Hits dot com to uh, request her music as well. I mean, right now as we speak, uh, you can do that. Uh, some of her new tracks again, uh, her new album that she has out right now, um, which is uh, Pisando Fuerte. Okay, it's available on all digital platforms. So go out there and stream it. She's got quite a what is it about six tracks on that uh, EP? No, it's actually a full album, ten songs. It's a full each. album, ten I songs. Okay. Albums, and each one has ten. Yeah. So I have thirty songs on the platforms with uh, twenty one being original. And the other, wow. the other nine are covers. Amazing. So she's got music, guys. And if you love, you love what you heard today, go out there and stream it. Everything is available, again, on all, all streaming platforms. So uh, definitely do that. Awesome interview. Super great mentor. No more, no more Thank, you, she, amazing, Thank, you, amazing. Thank you, Thank you, Gabriel. Muchas gracias a todos. You know, I, I wasn't able to see all the comments because I know they're coming in from different pages. But I want to say thank you to everybody out there who tuned in today. I appreciate you, Keith. Thank you so much for the love and support always. Um, you're doing awesome as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you for having me on your show. And to everybody out there, guys, follow Les Garcia, support Les Garcia music. I need all the support I can get. I'm still independent, um, independent singer songwriter. Been doing this for seven years. So jump on board on my journey. It's not easy, but it's definitely fun. There you go. Right now. One quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be back to wrap things up right here on the Hello Times. All right. So, as they, again, uh, thank you to Mr. Amanda Martinez, Heels on Wheels Mobile Notary. Call 832 598 5561 for more details, for more information. Book your appointment right there. Again, 832 598 5561. Also, ACO Productions Pro Lighting. Uh, Pro Audio and Lighting, call them for your next event, 361-318-0229. You can call them today. And also Tumbleweed, Texas, Houston's number one spot for Tejano. You can book your party at 832-446-6949. All right. Again, thank you, everybody who watched the show tonight. Don't forget to share it as well. Tejano Time Podcast, my guest, Liz Garcia tonight, La Cantante. Follow her on all streaming platforms or all her social media platforms, should I say, or go and download her music uh, that's available on all uh, platforms. 
platforms as well. Okay, so as that Liz Garcia, la cantante, and uh, she's uh, she's great. She's got some awesome music. Go out there and get it, people. Liz, again, thank you so much. I uh, couldn't thank you enough. Uh, always a great sport. Always nice talking to you as well. Uh, and uh, best of luck, best wishes in the future. We're looking forward to that video. If that happens, let us know. We'll get you back on the show again as well, so we can share it with everybody out there. Most definitely. Thank you so much, Keith. I appreciate you. Thank you to all your audience. Thank you so much, guys. Everybody that's new to listening on um, to Liz Garcia, yes, I invite you to go check out my music. Follow me on all social media platforms, Liz Garcia La Cantante, Liz Garcia. Uh, my, um, the music is under Liz Garcia. It's two different names. But yes, I invite you to go check it out. I need all the support I can get. Thank you. Awesome. There you go. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Likewise. Thank you.